bus leave, my second bus leave at 9.22. So maybe so, the new work network will work better for you. You no, don't think it will work no, better? No, I do not. Because I'm already yeah. struggling. It takes me an hour. I have to go to work at 10 o'clock. But if it's but coming every 15 the, minutes, maybe, maybe that'll be better. No, but see, where I live yeah. over the north side, they um trying to cut uh, my bus stop out right where I live. Right. And see, I get off at 11 o'clock at night. And so I'm not trying to be so walking from issue. two blocks. Right, down. even with her, you would have to walk. Yeah, yeah. This, this is this is my normal bus stop. And you have to get your so kids off the kids, bus or something. Yes, my son, has to, my kids go to two different schools, so. Oh, so it's kind of it's kind of good here. that you were covered by the bus stops inside of Fairfield. Yes, because inside if I can get right here, I can meet my kids right here at home on time. Like even if I get on the three o'clock oh. bus, that gets me here exactly on time. Exactly. Like as soon as I'm getting off the bus, five minutes later, my kids are pulling up. But if you had to walk from over there, they might if be. If I had to walk, it would be a lot of inconvenience. And like I said, my kids go to two different schools. So I'm depending on two different plans. But one of my kids are a walker. So I have to get oh, here, get my child yes. off a bus, and then I have to walk yes. and get the next child. Yes. You know, so that's, that. I mean, that's just my life right and now. I'm, I'm loving that. I'm hearing that perspective that, that one of your kids is a yes, walker. Yeah, even though I'm home. right here, right, I'm, I'm, right, I got two, right. two different schools. Yeah, not to mention me getting off at 11 o'clock at night, yes. which will put me, I mean... I don't want anybody walk, having to walk from Fairfield way over here, you know, way, maybe way over there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe the Bob Street, maybe, you never know, you know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody that had to do that with, my mother had, it was four of us, mm -hmm. and my mother, you know what I'm saying, she was a right. single mother with four of us, and I remember all of us riding the bus together, right. you know, back in the day or whatever, so I can't even imagine, I wouldn't want nobody walking with two, three kids from Fairfield way all the way over here yeah. at night, you and know what I'm saying? one of my children has special needs. So like it's, it's a big Say that again. My son has special needs, so it's okay. very critical. Right, that, that they I cover that they routine, cover you. A routine, that coverage. You know. That coverage, right. You don't want to be left uncovered. Right. Right. Tell I, them you I, don't want to be left yes, uncovered. I do not want to be left uncovered. Yeah, and a whole lot I of really these buses that they're trying right. to cut off, right. just a lot of these stuff they're trying to cut off. It's like a safety issue for yeah. certain, for certain people, mm -hmm. right. especially females, right. because the females get off at late night. They don't want to be walking two blocks from where they they got to get off two blocks and then walk home. Anything can happen to them two blocks away.